It's indeed 13th round with your main man, Kenny Caraway. And look, I know there was a heavyweight clash with Luis Ortiz and uh, and and Frank Martin. Or no, not Frank Martin, but uh, I forgot the guy's name off the top of my head. I'm thinking Frank Martin because he was that's the next guy I was going to talk about. Super impressive with his knockout, um, uh, Errol Spence. Errol Spence product. Very impressive. I know that fight went down and there's some things I got to watch. We're going to talk about that later in the week. But I got to talk about another boxer who, look, man, I'm not saying that I'm a fan of his. I'm not saying he's good or bad for the sport. But right now he's putting a clown suit on Dana White. And I love it. I love it. When Jake Paul puts a clown suit on Dana White. I love it. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. And and it went even further this weekend when Dana White was talking about, hey, uh, he just had to open his mouth. He just had to open his mouth. He just had to say something to Jake Paul. And he's like, oh, I'll uh, make sure that um, y- you if you fight, you know, what do you say? If I take a steroid test or a drug test every every week, you've got to take a steroid test. <laughs> Jake Paul was like, look, we can do that all day. And I one up you. I'll retire from boxing if you follow these type of guidelines. And he was talking about increasing fader, fighters' minimum uh, pay to fifty thousand. It's at twelve thousand right now, guaranteeing UFC fighters fifty percent of UFC annual revenues, which is at one billion uh, a year. It was in twenty twenty one. And he said, "I'll do all that if you go with these stipulations. I'll fight uh, Masvidal in the UFC in the octagon, and I'll retire from boxing if you do all that." And the genius that was Jake Paul in this situation. He knows, and we all know, Dana is not doing none of that. He's keeping all the money, and he's getting exposed for it on a daily basis by Jake Paul, and I love it. I love it. Keep doing that, Jake. I don't know if I need to see you in the ring, but keep doing that. Keep making Dana look like the fool that he is. he's showing himself to be as a leader or a commissioner for this organization and keep putting a clown suit on him. So I'm tipping my hat to Jake Paul, and that's the 13th round.